Hello everyone, welcome to one more session of uh, Focotier Entertainment. Today I'll be talking about Traffic Manager in Microsoft Azure. So first we would like to understand I mean why we need traffic manager okay so traffic manager is nothing but it will uh, distribute the uh, the load uh, I mean manages the traffic on the application workloads and also we need to understand it works on the DNS level so it uses the DNS to I mean distributing the traffic uh, across the uh, the applications so uh, I uh, so uh, in order to create a traffic manager log on to the subscription and uh, click on new here and uh, under the type uh, uh, I mean just just go ahead and type uh, traffic traffic manager profile okay and um, see uh, we have the first one okay so click on traffic manager profile so um, click on create and uh, you can see uh, it's my first uh, my first traffic manager so it says uh, dot traffic manager dot net i think we need to change the name and uh, see uh, you know i mean we have to understand also how the routing method should be so if you click on the drop down we have three options one is the performance second is weight and third is the priority so let's go ahead and and, and understand what exactly this routing methods okay so um, the first thing is see um, traffic manager supports a number of algorithms to determine how we end, end users are routed to various service endpoints these are called traffic routing method okay the traffic routing method is applied to each dns query received to determine which endpoint should be returned in the dns response so that's the reason why we informed it it works on the dns level so the first one is the the priority method so the second one is the weighted method third one is the performance okay so um let's let's uh, get into the uh, the priority traffic routing method okay so um, in this see uh, the user sends a, a request which eventually uses the dns query and it receives the traffic manager here and here you can see the endpoint uh, priority uh, chart the primary failure a failure b okay so depending upon the priority it will route the traffic in this priority uh, traffic uh, routing method and the second one is weighted traffic routing method look at the diagram the user sends a request it receives to the traffic manager and if you look at the uh, the chart here region a weight is weightage is 50 test a is 5 region b is 50 so depending upon the uh, the weightage and the status the traffic will be routed and if you go to the um, the third one performance traffic routing so here if you look at the user uh, sends a query it receives the traffic manager and if you look at the table we have ip range the region region wise so if you look at the uh, i mean uh, the uh, the least distance it says i mean um, uh, it 15 um, uh, milliseconds 75 milliseconds and 150 milliseconds so it did first uh, check the uh, the nearest one and if that is available the traffic will be routed and if it is not available it goes to the next one and next to next one so this is how uh, the uh, three uh, methods will be uh, working so depending upon the requirement you need to understand uh, which routing method you need to select but however i uh, would like to go ahead and uh, use the first one performance select the subscription and resource group you can uh, use the existing one or create new one I uh, would like to use the existing one and uh, so um, click on create so it says uh, validation successful and uh, it says a deploying deployment started deployment succeeded so um, 
deployment succeeds so go back to the resource groups and uh, look for something um, called as a traffic manager this is the one okay this is the one okay and let's quickly check the the settings under the traffic manager what we have so we have uh, the dns it's my first traffic manager 001.trafficmanager.net uh, monitor status is inactive routing uh, method is in performance so uh, go ahead and click on the uh, the reason why it is uh, inactive because the vm is currently uh, my test dc001 i mean uh, the vm is currently offline the reason why it is showing as inactive okay and click on properties so the same thing click on configuration all right so here you can see the dns uh, time to uh, live is 300 you can decrease you can increase and you can also change the routing method and you can click on save here so they have given a path and it uses port 80 because we are using http not https if you want you can use https also and change the port depending upon the the requirement and uh, the next thing is endpoints so as of now there is no endpoints but we can go ahead and click on uh, create a new endpoint azure endpoint external endpoint nested endpoint so azure endpoint you can uh, select um it's for the cloud service or for the app service or the public ip address okay and um, you can add uh, any number of endpoints here so that the the traffic will be allowed accordingly and uh, the tags logs users automation script are same for all the workloads so this is about the traffic manager and um, and uh, there is the this is the link i mean if you want to understand uh, how exactly uh, uh, the uh, it works this is the link you can go ahead and check uh, how exactly it works and uh, traffic uh, routing methods also if you want to uh, understand you can also check this link all right so i'll share these two links under the uh, description and if you have any queries and um, any questions you can use the uh, the comment section and uh, stay tuned for more azure beginner tutorials guys and thank you for watching